I remember three years ago and I was sitting at a table at this workshop and I was sitting with five other individuals there, all business leaders, all people that were making an impact, people that really truly had compassion in their hearts, people that were not only honest with themselves and honest with their clients, these were people that um, were mothers, fathers, uh, husbands, wives, they were just really good people. And I can remember us sitting there and we were listening to a speaker and this speaker who was very well known at the time there got up and he looked at everybody with this stern, intense look and he said, listen, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I remember sitting there, I could tell this was the point he wanted to make, right? You know, every speaker has this moment where they want to make this point that this has got to stick with you. And man, he was a sharp speaker. He was excellent and clearly very successful. But I also remember in that moment how sad I felt. And it wasn't because I was sad to be at the event. It was because of the comments I started to hear around the table. Instead of this being a moment where it should have been motivated and exciting and with the hope and desire that I took it as is like, listen, you are good enough to be working with the best of the best in the world. You're good enough to stand by my side here on stage. Everybody at my table was sank just a couple inches down. And I can even remember the guy that was sitting next to me. He said, man, you know, he, he's right, but I'm not, I'm not good enough to meet with these people. Like, I mean, I don't have a big enough business. I, I got too many time commitments. You know, who am I? Who am I to be at going up to this person on the stage and asking if I can work side by side with them? And then I saw the next woman over from him and saying you know, like, yeah, that sounds easy enough, but how am I gonna get my face in front of the most successful people in my industry? And it, it made me sad because instead of this moment where it should have been inspiring and motivating, I saw people that just lost confidence. And from that day forward, I started the vault team and I started the vault team with the idea that, listen, we are not going to get into this idea of what I call the pedestal syndrome, this idea that we need other people. We need to focus our attention on other people to make our dreams come true. It was a moment of not only just clarity, it was a moment of conviction where I said, listen, it is time for people that are trying to make an impact. It is time for people that have decided to be leaders. It is time for people who have this destined, who have the courage to go out on themselves to understand that they have got what it takes. They've got every single ability and wisdom and knowledge inside of them. And even if they don't, they have the ability to learn those new skills, to hire those new skills, to understand how to communicate what their passions are, their knowledge and their ideas, because they have what it takes to help. And I think as a speaker, I would always want to encourage my audience that you're right. We need help from others. It is great to work with like-minded and courageous and honest and people of integrity. But at the core, at the foundation of every successful business I know, every successful movement I know, are impact-driven leaders. So please, as you watch this video and as you go on to the next level and you go on with your day, don't ever lose sight that the most important person is not the person you need to meet. The most important person is you.